Okay, Star Wars fans, pop quiz. If you could only watch one Star Wars movie ever again for the rest of your life, you could watch it over and over as many times as you want, but just that one, which one would it be? I know which one I would pick. Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of Rewind, Relive, and Review. I'm Rick, this is the show where we talk about movies, music, TV. I review a lot of the older stuff, especially things that we haven't seen in a while, things that you may not have heard of. This is Star Wars week. I know everybody's heard of Star Wars. And we are on episode five, The Empire Strikes Back. This is the end all, be all of movies, period, bar none. Favorite Star Wars movie, favorite movie. So listen in and find out why I say that. Okay, so by now you all know my affinity for Star Wars. There's one movie though that I will put above Star Wars. And that also happens to be a Star Wars movie. Back in the day, we just called it The Empire Strikes Back. Nowadays, it's known as Episode 5. The Empire Strikes Back. This film came out in 1980. It was directed by Irvin Kirshner and it is the second shot Star Wars movie, again fifth in chronological order. This film had everything. Action, sci-fi, adventure, even a little romance. There are so many things that I love about this movie and it's like George Lucas and company took everything that they built with Star Wars and moved it up a notch this was the quintessential movie and if you watched my previous video on A New Hope and how this, that movie pushed me into wanting to get into film and entertainment the Empire Strikes Back solidified everything that I wanted to do. Now this picks up shortly after A New Hope and the Rebel Alliance is still at odds against the Galactic Empire. They dealt them a horrific blow when they destroyed the Death Star. But in this film you can see the scale and the might of the Empire. In this film Luke Skywalker fulfills his destiny as he trains to become a Jedi Knight. He learns the Force from the Jedi Master himself, Yoda, and meanwhile, Han Solo and Princess Leia are off on a separate adventure, and as they avoid pitfall after pitfall, eventually it all catches up to everybody. And that's one of the things that I've liked the best about The Empire Strikes Back. It didn't follow the same formulas as other movies where the good guys always won. In this film, the bad guys won. Now, like I said, it came out in 1980 and it was the highest grossing film that year. It took in approximately 401 million and the worldwide gross was somewhere between 538 to 549 million adjusted for inflation. It's the 13th highest grossing film in the United States and Canada. And it's regarded as one of the best in the Star Wars film series and one of the greatest movies of all time. And it had a significant impact on popular culture and is considered the rare sequel that's better than the predecessor. And when Darth Vader delivers that line to Luke and no spoilers here, you should all already know, I am your father. That was one of the greatest plot twists in cinema. This film has also been released on several formats, including DVD, VHS, Blu-ray, and 4K. Now, I had previously scored Star Wars Episode IV, A New Hope, a 3.75. With The Empire Strikes Back, I give it a 4.0 out of 4. 
it's that good. It's the ultimate movie. No take backs. Best movie ever. So come on guys, think about it. This is one of the few movies where, quote unquote, the bad guys actually win. It took you to another place. It left a huge cliffhanger and it put people in shock. This was a masterpiece. Whether you like Star Wars or not, you have to like this movie. Okay guys, that's all the time I've got for today. Again, The Empire Strikes Back. It is episode five in the Star Wars trilogy. And you can also get it in the complete saga, which actually spans episodes one through six. Now I have it on Blu-ray because the picture and sound is far superior to the DVD. Because it's Star Wars week, I got so much more coming for you. Please make sure that you hit that like button, leave a comment, let me know what your favorite Star Wars movie is and which one you couldn't do without. Also, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, that way you never miss an episode. Stay positive, stay blessed, and I'll see you again soon.